Captain's Course. So we've got Gardens of Babylon by Blue Team's BS Paddy24, which I'm really looking forward to. It's totally different. Um, very, I think it would have caught a few people by surprise, which is great. All for that. Now, I just need to check whether he's done the form and... Don't know, I might have to log in and double check that one. So yeah, this has been a really interesting contest to follow, particularly in the Blue Team channel, and Petty typically goes through three or four, five, six ideas per contest. Um, and some of the ideas he's discarded for this were really solid already. And I hope a few of them make the light of day, but this was the one where, as soon as he showed this one off, it was just like, yep this has to be the winner this has to be the one that we go with ah he has done it excellent so let's kick this off then so we've got course name gardens of babylon what tees would you like to play from back decks love the use of decks strong any further conditions uh, good up to max firmness or speed probably plays better in a low to medium wind yeah the first reaction was a complete what the fuck, but it was great. Um, probably pays better in a low to medium wind. Good man, like to hear that. Any key design features? Really tried to make the whole strategy and angles match the time spent building the atmosphere and eye candy. Hopefully that's obvious after a few bad shots or decisions. We will. I'm certain we will find out with some bad shots and decisions. Uh, medium, tougher CC. Any real life courses? <laughs> Lol. Excellent. Three required elements. Two or more bunkless holes. Excellent. Three shot par five. Blind tee shot. Nice. Okay, let's leap straight into this one. What has been a lot of fun about this has been, you kind of think with a team contest, it's just going to be nice and straightforward and your let's play from the back decks as, as requested. You think it's going to be nice and straightforward and everyone's just hiding their ideas from the other team. We forgot to factor in, like, our team had Wes, so not only was Petty hi hiding everything from the other team, he's also hiding it from his own team, which was a new level of strategy I hadn't really anticipated. And I think we were trying to feed some disinformation as well, and see whether Jai's a bit... I mean, Keg Discord has been a lot of fun, this contest. This first tee shot's stunning. I mean, I love 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 the idea of this one just everything about it hey patrick um and like this 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 nonsense around the outside is really cool and i guess comes into play on flyovers but it, it's a really good way of doing it step is i mean i guess you could have kind of made it in anything but i think the step works really well for the backdrop the internal stuff's really cool. I remember seeing this, so Brian sent a couple of screenshots of like really early production and I kept trying to push him towards this idea because I think this is the one that had the highest gain of all of them. Um, I love that we've got a big open area. Just, it's just wild and this is kind of what we wanted this contest to be. Like just people taking chances, trying things they wouldn't have normally done. So yeah, I'm really excited. I also knew if he went for this one he'd have to actually plant a bloody course so that helped. I mean it's done really nicely. Oh my goodness he's done grass and everything. I was a bit worried about the red trees initially. I think they work really well. Classic petty Southern California lighting. We love that. The water going through looks like it's just really well done. I'm intrigued by the geometric stuff, and we'll see whether that fits. I guess it does. Just look at the plot. The plot is just crazy. Really cool. And I think, if I saw on one of the playthroughs, have you raised it so that you've got some sand on some of the buildings? To stop people, yeah. I think here, to stop people hitting on top of the buildings. Which is, again, like very cleverly thought through. So let's see this. I mean, I kind of know like, 
with one of Brian's courses, the angles and strategy stuff is going to be good. Ooh, nasty little camber there. Okay. So in reality, any fairway over here is... Depends on the wind. Fun little mound. The water and retaining wall stuff is done... Eh, yeah, pretty well. I mean, this stuff's annoying. There's not much you can do. It's done pretty well. I really like the slopes on the green. A little false front, but just a couple of spines to give us ways of getting closer to pins. <laughs> uh, that's going to be tight. But I like we've got an openish tee shot to start off with. It just really sets the tone. And I think for this pin, I guess the more I come this way, the less I'm going over this little spine. But it's a bit more of a choice than it's a requirement of which way you go. Hiya, Jamie. The little building behind, is that in I presume that's in play if you hit a really bad shot, but I like it. Uh, that's probably gone. Really cool view over the rest of it. Oh no, maybe we're okay. I mean, green slopes are really good. I like that you've kind of toned them down a bit from your usual. I think that, that makes sense. And there we go. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not bad for a St Andrews RCR, is it? I love the planting. I really like what you've done with it. Waterfalls work well. Like that's kind of what you'd expect them. Like. When you think of this concept, this is kind of how I'd think it would be. Ludicrous, there it is. Too many palms. Yeah, but you don't see the, the actual palm trees, so it works. And what I think you've done really well that I know I wouldn't do as well is you've made you've kept the trees quite big, which means that we're not using too many of them and it's getting awkward or whatever. Like minimal objects done well makes a lot of sense uh, trying to work out if I'd like this a little bit lower I think I probably would yeah that's not a good t-shirt But I, it's a very forgiving hole. I assume have we cambered away from the wall to stop you getting stuck up against it? That would kind of make sense, I guess. I think doing something like this would... I assume you've probably had to playtest this more than, more than usual. Love the little low lying water as well, and the view back from the green's pretty good. Yeah, more than usual. Three three start, we'll take it. It's not gonna get I think it will get overlooked by potentially some judges of how good the sculpting is because it's all quite flat. Actually, being able to do this and the low water and not have this look ridiculously bad like the elevation change from here to here with it playing well is really really tricky I wonder how it I do wonder how it works if you get caught up here but yeah that's really impressive so what are we looking at we're looking at a lion's mouth sort of oh long for 
can cut the corner. You play up here. Ooh. The water comes in a little bit, but with the wind, it's got to be worth it, hasn't it? I am, like, all in on this. Okay, we've got an angle, sort of. I mean, yep, happy with this. <laughs> I know I'm not playing this hole the way I'm meant to, but this is just too much fun. Hey, lost cells. Oh, oh, that's just annoying. Really thought I had that one. Yeah. Ex <laughs> uh, we get the birdie. That's a fun hole. I can see how that plays differently depending on pin position and like going the way I did if the pin was on a different side would just not be worth doing at all. For a short hole, I'm all for this pin. I think it works well. And I like that it's not just a raised circle brush when it looks like it could have been. And yet that little spine in front and the little softened bit here is really good. What's this? I mean, th this is just all sorts of madness and it's really crazy and fun. So this is where we've got sand up top, I think. It's not... it's not OB. I mean, I guess you could have made it OB. Problem is, if you do make it OB, then you just run the risk of people running into the wall by the fairway and hitting OB, and I kind of feel like you're suspending reality enough with this course. I'm completely okay with it not being OB. Uh, I don't know, I mean we've got a little swale, uh, it's hard to see, but we've got a little swale at the back so you can't bounce back on. So no, I don't think so. And this one I like, it looks simple but narrows down. We've got water in play if you're hitting quite a long tee shot. Really, this one's all about how far you want to go down and what distance you want to leave yourself back in. Uh, I was hoping I was going to hit a perfect or a slow. Oh, well, we've got the wedge in, at least, I guess. And this time we do get the slow. Excellent. don't love the slope completely dumping me into the rough, but it's a short hole, so I think kind of okay with it. I like that you didn't crutch on the water there as well. It's there for visual and not really much else. Okay, so routing wise we've gone up there and we're now walking back down and playing to here. Again, also like that you haven't chucked a bridge on because people can leave bags or walk down. I mean, we don't need a bridge everywhere. Ooh, okay. So in the right wind, presumably very much drivable. The grass, this area is just really cool. It's like exactly how I would picture it, completely getting the vibe of what you're trying to. This is a lovely little touch. Petty the details, man, who'd have thought? Yeah, sorry. It's very much a me phrase. I like the kind of infinity fairway. That works well. And like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm, believe I'm using the phrase, but like the building layering is great. Uh, and then this one's just fun. It's like, do we want to leave ourselves an uphill lie 
awkward stance to that pin or do we want to hit driver and and potentially run through I think you've done your angles really nicely here and actually the geometric stuff here works really works for you I guess it's fitting with the buildings so it does make sense hmm I think I want to hit three wood great view <laughs> yep did see that comment on stream the other night ooh okay is the wind oh I didn't really factor in the wind okay hmm don't think I love this bit being green and running us into the wall probably just have kept the green here but I get I get that you wanted the runoff otherwise otherwise I really like the green slopes oh nearly got it hey Terry I mean this is yeah Shawshank Redemption exactly it's a lot of fun we're not going to get a more creative course coming out of this contest don't think where where am I going oh it is over there and that's all sand I take it I like, I really like this camber here just feeding us way further down so you kind of got to challenge that inside corner but also I could see you easily getting blocked out maybe not for this pin so much but for others kind of making me choose to just hit it centre which I really like because I don't do that, that that often but I think you've done it really nicely where central is the sensible choice land movement here is really cool that little and yeah sight lines just so nicely done there is a lot of stuff here that like people will think it's pure fantasy course there's a lot of really clever stuff going on in terms of the whole designs as well like that runoff at the back is nasty we do not want to be long That's a sneaky little runoff at the back as well. Okay. Hmm. That had to be the miss. Hmm. Me too. Yeah. I mean, we've got a little bit of puddling, but I don't care enough huh well there's the first of those parts <laughs> style yeah it's been entertaining tea boxes are flat that's important I really like the tree for framing is this the open sort <laughs> Oh, this hole makes me chuckle. So you've gone for a reverse redan around a building with a false front. I am I am a big fan. Just like uh, this is full blown silly, but it's also a template. Love it. I'm eager to see Joe Golfer G's take on this hole. The dog leg par three. 
Yeah, but his dogleg par 3 doesn't incorporate any sort of green slope that might allow you to get it close. Digging the city buildings you've used here as well, just for like interest, because those can be really awkward to use, having used a fair few of them in clubhouses and that. Or are these actually steps? Can't tell. I think that's a city building. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, Petty's been trying to do a blind bar three for ages. It was it two at Wakanya? Oh, off we go. Easy par. That's a really fun hole. I I can see that working so well in so many different conditions. <laughs> okay. Oh, with wind, this is a bastard. I really, really, really like the hazard with no, the green with no bunkers around it. But just an awkward, kind of Augusta style green shape. Okay, so. Am I taking it out of reach if I play it here? Pretty much. Yeah, if we go over to here, it's longer in, so it makes more sense to lay up, no? Mm-hmm. That's a fun tee shot. Can we make this in any way workable? I feel like if we bail out this way, we've got a chance of sniffing the green maybe? I don't know, I just kind of want to see how this plays. Ah, pulled it. That's okay, we've got decent angle in. Green slopes are fun. So is this your three shot par five? Surely not. I don't think it is, because I presume that's reachable. That's a lot of fun. Oh, that is your three shot five. I feel like, okay, so designed as a three shot five, but it's probably reachable in some conditions. This is a good green. I love the little layering of where your slopes are. So all going the same way, but can kind of hinder or hurt depending, or help depending on how good your distance control is, yet still kind of doing the same thing. One of these undulations is just grabbing my eye as we fly over. I don't know. Something about not being able to see the base of that tree, maybe. I don't need to see it. I like the so long four, limited hazards, really wide fairway, but we're dealing with camber and I guess angle in. I'm trying to work out how I'd want to approach this. Probably from like straight on and running through, so you're kind of skirting the swale and just feeding off that slope. Because with the, I guess, oh, although we might have a short iron in because of wind. Oh, that's an awful swing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Very fast, isn't you? Well, this is going to be an interesting part. <laughs> I mean, I think you've hidden that about as well as you can do. And so that's all sand. That's done really nicely with the sculpting as well. Is 
this is just very cool. It is Babylon. Yeah, we're gonna I'm going to try to do three. I would like to get Pablo's done because kind of teased his last night and then Brad showed up and we did his. Not last night, two nights ago. Um, and I think I've got a couple of red team ones still to do. <laughs> Fun front nine. Oh yeah, this is the sort of petty bunkering I'm used to. I feel like this is the first one of these sorts of bunkers with the rough like this that I've seen. But I might not have just have just not been paying attention. I like the flag and the distance here because I've kind of got to roll it up and yet that's not going to be easy. Um, good looking hole. Nah, didn't get the fast. Sculpting there maybe not your best, but considering constraints you're working with it, and the slope you wanted on the green and where the wall is, kind of forgive you that. Uh, right. <laughs> Rhino is so worried. Oh, I thought that was good. How do you fly around? Um, if you're on PC, then you hit F10 and you can fly around to your heart's content. <laughs> oh, I like this. This is ludicrous. I feel like you could have at least rotated one of these trees. Uh, yeah, I don't love the harsh nature of this, like the land movement, but I like what you're doing. This <laughs> is like the ultimate hog's back, isn't it? Love it. Yep, this works. As a blind t-shirt, I think it works really nicely huge amount of open space like for me this is what a blind t-shirt should be it's not punishing if you're not in the perfect spot but there's a premium from hitting it for hitting it right roughly in the right spot <laughs> might like this mound to be lowered a little bit but yeah as approach shots go this is like we're not really showing off as much as on previous ones, but kind of. Oh god, we're way down the hill, <laughs> and now we're screwed. Um, this is hilarious. I really what you like what you've done with land movement because none of this danger has come from that bunker. Oh, I have got no hope. There's just no way this makes it over. But we'll try. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, right, okay, we're going to have to go a different tactic. Also not. <laughs> oh, why did they take out the punch shot? Would have made life so much easier. Still. That one's okay. Oh. 
So, it's an unfortunate double bogey. <laughs> I really like that. Really, really like that. That's an annoyingly good tree placement. Oof. Okay, we've gone crazy camber again. Eh, a little bit of weirdness with this blind stuff here, but... So where are we in relation to the last hole? So we've... One sec. Okay, we just played to there and then we... Oh, got you. Right, still in the same direction. I mean, this is a fun tee shot, just... That camber scares the shit out of me. got a little bridge and everything with grass going through it it's like that's at least 10 points off no okay yeah wasn't a good shot huge backstop so it's fine it's fine 90 percent in heavy rough huh I'm not going to leave a very easy part, but it's something. <laughs> and so that's coming back to our blind t-shirt, is it? Okay, no, so we are going back the other way. Gotcha. Oh, that's annoying. I feel like you've kept this really varied. <laughs> I mean, when we're going ludicrous, why not? This is great. Land movement works. Green size works. Green sight and angle works. Just silly stuff. I mean... Even fits with the camber over here, I guess. Might try. Why not? Ah, that's why not. Can potentially go all the way down the other side. And I guess with that wind, this maybe wasn't such a smart move. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want to slow. That's okay. <laughs> Angles. Hey, you know Jeff will play that exact same shot. Got a flat part as well. Really worked it. Back to even. I really like where we started to go with the green shapes. They've gone like they've gotten funkier as we've gone. I think they makes I I do think they fit. <laughs> I say I think they fit. I mean, what the hell do I know about a Babylonian course? But one of the joys of this is I guess you can kind of go wherever you want with this style. Style good angles here like I'd have the further I played towards the right the better an angle I get in but I like the little slope down to the back pin oh be good that needs to go a little There we are. I, when done well, those sorts of front to back slopes are really, really good.
Big fan. Oh, I thought I had that one. Don't really have that much to like. Strategically, it's just really solid and varied, and yeah. Okay, short three. Don't know if I love some of the bunkering. Like on this one, I just I feel like you you could have done a bit more with this with the bunkers short. I don't know. Green slopes are great. Like clear four pin positions. I'm presuming we got one there, one back, one front, one back left. Huh. Oh, that is not the swing we wanted. Hates the signature hole. Short par three doesn't have to be a signature hole. Like, we'll say it, it's Babylon. Like, I don't think it's got a signature hole. Forty-six. Yeah. Let's take a guess. Oh, look at that come off the putter well. <laughs> Keep pulling my parts at the moment. Hmm. Plus one. Hate to see it. All right. Sixteen. Love the planting. I kind of feel like I'd have liked the water a bit more in play on this one. This one maybe feels a touch too open. He says before he hits probably straight up on the top of the building. Pl yeah, I mean, no OB. Platinum will love it. Good green. Like, the greens have all been really interesting. Little spine's cool. I can see, actually now I'm looking at it a bit more. I guess that spine dictates a little bit more than I thought. Which is good. There's a swing. Beauty. <laughs> yeah, we really need to stop this influx of Babylon courses. <laughs> you sure this isn't your blind tee shot? This is your. Ro have you done a road hole on seventeen? Of course you've. Of course you have. And we haven't quite got the angle right. <laughs> I, I like it. It's possibly a touch short for a road. What, what is it as a total school? Ah, load it up at the end. But really well designed hole. Angles are great. A couple of scorable holes there, definitely. And then 18. Yep, love the bunker work here. I kind of wish I could see them a little more off the tee, just can't really see the base of the sand as much. And, <laughs> okay, huge fan of that green sloping. That's okay, we'll be doing a few more.
Ah, oh, it was always going to happen. Tried to go for the fast. And should be able to just put. Yeah, it's a great closing hole. So, Clubhouse. Not seeing anything. That's definitely a few points docked. No driving range. Cars in the car park. I mean. No car park, jeez. And we finished over par after working so hard. Stupid water ball mating. Yeah. Alright, so. Um. Okay. 7,000 yards, and in terms of what we, what we had, three shot par five, I thought was really well done. Like, I like I I liked with that one that you really kind of had a choice of whether you were going really it was about angles rather than about distance if you took on that big carry I could see how that might open up your shot your angles to the green and make that second shot a little bit easier um really like the greens I thought those those were really nicely done sculpting generally is superb for like and, and that's tricky in terms of the vision you had for the course no watchtower. Important. Um, I thought it played really varied. There are a couple of holes that maybe I thought were a little too minimalist. So I'm thinking of 16 was one where maybe could have used a hazard, but I think at a certain point, like, yeah, I don't know. I'd have liked the water brought in maybe a bit more on 16. I thought, um, what else? Par threes were really well done. Like, there are some definite shots that stick in my mind, even though. I kind of view this more as an environment course. I, in my mind, there's always two types. It's like the, are you making the stunning standalone holes or are you making a whole immersive environment? And if you do the latter, it tends to be harder to make the individual holes stick out if like everything is con a case of an immersive and what have you. But then within this, there's definitely shots I will remember. I will remember making a triple on 11. I will really remember the reverse redan 7th. I will remember that drive all par four around a building or whatever which i think was four um the ludicrous one where we've kind of cut a massive corner that lion's mouth on three um like there's a lot within this that i think i will just stick in my mind um yeah i mean what else might i nitpick i don't think there's very much at all i'd have liked to see the water maybe a little bit more in play but equally i kind of feel like you've rooted around what you had rather than necessarily putting water in place. And when you have used water, it's worked really nicely. Um, what else? I don't think there's that much. It's just, a, it's just really wild. It's exactly the sort of course I wanted to see from this contest of someone just going, you know what, this is, like, let's just go for it and do something bizarre and we haven't seen before definitely the most unique course that I've seen from the contest so far but with no small amount of strategy attached which I think will probably make it a winner for a lot of different people for different reasons so like just a really smart move and I'm really glad you went with it um, so shared loads of fun we're gonna cut the stream now I'm gonna come back in a minute and I think uh, I haven't seen Pablo pop on yet, so I'm going to do one of the red team courses. I think I've got to do Patrick's, and I saw him in earlier, so we'll go with that. Um, back in one minute. 